In this example, I'm going to show you how to multiply mixed numbers using the standard algorithm. First, use the top section to record the mixed numbers, 3 and 3 fifths and 2 and 1 half. And then in the bottom section, we're going to rewrite these mixed numbers as improper fractions. To do this, we're going to multiply our denominator by our whole number. So in 3 and 3 fifths, we'll multiply 5 times 3, which is 15, and add our numerator of 3, and we end up with 18 fifths. This is because 3 and 3 fifths has a fraction that's out of fifths. So if we have three wholes, we have 5 fifths, 5 fifths, and another 5 fifths to represent 3. And 5 fifths plus 5 fifths plus 5 fifths equals 15 fifths. Plus we have another 3 fifths in our fraction for a total of 18 fifths. We'll do the same thing with 2 and 1 half. So if we have two wholes, that's 2 halves plus 2 halves or 4 halves plus 1 more half for a total of 5 halves. Next, we look to see if there are any numbers that we can cross reduce. To do this, we're gonna look at the numerator in the first fraction, which is 18, and we're gonna look across and down at the denominator in five halves, and we're going to see if 18 and two have a common factor that they can both be divided by. 18 and two both have a common factor of two, so first we'll divide 18 by two, which is nine, and we're gonna type the nine in the little yellow box that's up and to the left of the 18, and then we're going to divide 2 by 2, which reduces to 1, which we'll type in the box that's just down to the right of the 2. Next, we look at the top right numerator and the bottom left denominator to see if we can cross reduce these two. Because they are both 5, each of these can be divided by the same factor of 5. When we do that, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so each of those will reduce to 1 and we'll type those in the boxes next to them. Keep in mind that you won't always be able to reduce your fractions. You may be able to to reduce one set of numerators and denominators but not be able to reduce the other set or you may not be able to reduce either of them. Once you have reduced your fractions, if you can, you're going to multiply straight across to get your final fraction. In this case, we're going to multiply our numerators nine times one, which is nine, and our denominators one times one, which is one. We wanna always write our final answer as a mixed number with a fraction that is reduced. Sometimes our answer might be a whole number. In this case, we have nine ones or nine over one, which reduces to nine. It doesn't have a fraction but it is our final answer. So always write your answer as a mixed number or a whole number with a reduced fraction.